Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2021 Infiniti Q50 Red Sport 400, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2021 Infiniti Q50 Compact Luxury Sports Sedan competes with the BMW 3 Series, Audi A4, and Lexus ES. Despite an aging platform, the Q50's contemporary styling remains a strong point. It also comes with an impressive amount of standard equipment. The Q50's greatest attribute, however, is its performance per dollar ratio. Its standard 300 horsepower twin turbocharged V6 outdoes most of its entry-level rivals for thousands less. Those seeking the ultimate in performance should check out the Q50 Red Sport 400 with a 400 horsepower V6. All-wheel drive is available in all trims. The 2021 Infiniti Q50 is available in four trim levels, pure, luxury sensory and red sport 400 most feature a turbocharged three liter v6 engine that engine makes 300 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque while the red sport 400 increases output to 400 horsepower and 350 pound feet of torque a seven speed automatic transmission sends power to the rear wheels all wheel drive is offered throughout the lineup. The base model Pure starts at $36,600. If you want all wheel drive, you have to add $2,000 to that. Standard features on the base model Pure include heated mirrors, keyless entry and ignition, dual zone automatic climate control, simulated leather upholstery, six speaker audio system, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration, two infotainment touchscreens, a Wi-Fi hotspot, and for collision mitigation. The next model up the ladder is the Q50 Lux. It starts at $41,700 for the rear-wheel drive model. And stepping up to the Lux, add some convenience items that include a sunroof, auto-dimming rearview mirror, navigation system, and adaptive cruise control. Stepping up next is the Sensory, and in, as far as I'm concerned, this is where things start to get good. The Q50 Sensory starts at $47,600, and you get some things like high-performance summer tires, auto-dimming exterior mirrors, adaptive dampers, upgraded brakes, paddle shifters, an air purifier, leather upholstery, power tilt and telescoping steering column, Sport seats with memory functions, you get a 16-speaker Bose premium audio system, and lane departure warning. The sportiest, fastest, and best Q50 is the Red Sport 400. It starts at $55,750. Now, it's range topping. It has 400 horsepower. The upgrades over the sensory, you get premium leather upholstery and you get a unique exterior and interior styling elements. The Red Sport 400 is also eligible for what they call the Proactive Package, which adds adaptive headlights, drive-by-wire steering system, an eco pedal that encourages efficient driving by resisting accelerator pressure, you get a blind spot monitor, and lane keeping assist. Okay, so let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 Infiniti. We are going to do the Q50. We're going to do it in the top tier Red Sport 400. So why are we looking at all these other models of Infiniti? The reason why is because I have done build and price reviews of every one of them. I did the 2021 Q60. I did this QX50. I did the 2021 QX80. And I see they don't even have a 2021 version of the QX60. I did the 2020 QX60 as well. So I'm telling you this to say... Uh, I have a playlist. All these links, all these videos are down in my playlist. I'm going to put that playlist, I'm going to put the link to that down in the description below. So if you're interested in other infinities, make sure you click that link after you watch this video. Also, real quick before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related building price reviews. I've also put those links down in the description below. These aren't cars that necessarily compete, but I think that you'll like. Uh, I recently did a building price review of the 2021 Acura TLX Advance, and uh, that's a very nice uh, sedan. And so if you like the Infiniti Q50, I think that you might actually like the Acura TLX as well, and it's been redesigned. Uh, I also did the 2021 BMW 330i. I did that in an X-Drive with an M Sport package. Nice, solid car. 
And I also did the 2021 Mazda 6 in the signature configuration. So make sure you watch one or two of those videos after you watch this one. And if you're interested in other Infinity videos, make sure you check out my playlist. Okay, so if you've tuned in to any of my building price reviews, you know how this worked. Before we actually jump into the configurator, we're going to go through these exterior colors. And we're going to check out the features. And we're going to peep through the gallery too. T-O-O -O as in also. So this color here is called Slate Gray. So let's go through these exterior colors for our uh, Q50 sedan. It's called Grand Blue. We have a Dynamic Sunstone Red. We've got a Majestic White. We've got Graphite Shadow. Black Obsidian. Pure White. And a Midnight Black. We can also do a 360 virtual walk around of the 2021 Infiniti Q50, so we can actually get a good look at the exterior. And you know what? This is a very attractive sedan. I actually did a building price review of this uh, vehicle already. I also did the Q50 back in 2019 as a Red Sport 400. And so if you check out that playlist, you'll go to that link. You'll find that video uh, in the playlist. All right, so moving on here, we're obviously taking a look at the exterior. I'm sorry, the interior uh, gallery here. Now we can see the different uh, the options, the interior leather colors, seat colors, veneers, meaning the woods and all that. This is the white semi-aniline leather appointed seating with the red stitching. And it's got the black matte carbon fiber trim. This is available only on the Red Sport 400 models. And this is actually the default color, they say. This trim level here, or this interior uh, setup here, is also available only on the Q50 Red Sport 400. This is the graphite semi-aniline leather. Let's just call it black leather with red stitching. And you get black matte carbon fiber trim. You can actually see the carbon fiber trim along uh, the center console here. I like the, the little diamond quilt stitching that they have on the, on the sides of the seats there. And the red stitching, yeah, it actually looks pretty nice. Now they're showing us other trims for other trim levels or other uh, interior configurations for other trims. This is the graphite leather seating with the textured aluminum trim. And this is the pre with the premium paint option, apparently. They don't even tell us what model this is on, though. Right? This is a stone leather pointed seating with textured aluminum trim. This is the stone leatherette with textured aluminum trim. And the graphite leatherette with textured aluminum trim. We've got graphite leather appointed seating with black open pore wood trim. And whoops, did I skip over? No. And then we have stone leather appointed seating with, with the same black open pore wood. And then there's one more here. This is the graphite leatherette with the lunar black trim. Okay, so before we move on to the features and then on to the build and price, Let's go over the gallery images. Let's look at these exterior gallery photos. And then they have some very nice interior gallery photos. And then we can see that nice quilting seats that come on that Red Sport 400. Okay, so let's check out these gallery images. They don't have many for the exterior. It looks like they have six exterior photos. And you know what? Hey, even though the Q50 is a little, getting a little long in the tooth, meaning it hasn't had a redesign, it's a good-looking sedan, I think. There's the uh, exhaust finisher. They don't call them tips anymore. This is the exhaust finisher. This is the little rear diffuser back here. They say the 2019 model shown. All right, okay, we see some feet and a hood. And a set of headlights. And the back end. And a brake caliper. Okay, let's move on to the interior and hope that those pictures are better. Well, from how everything looks right here, we're off to a better start. Okay, so here we are on the interior. This is probably the, uh, the uh, Red Sport 400, right? We've got the quilting on the seats, the red stitching. I see the matte carbon fiber on the uh, center console here. Good looking car. Right, you got your dual infotainment screens right there that I mentioned in the intro. You got your leather wrap steering wheel, paddle shifters. Hey, this is a good looking sedan. I'd like to drive this bad boy for reals. Nice looking car. There's the paddle shifter. I see the push button start. Now, see, here's here's where they let you down right here, Infinity. You got analog gauges, and, and in the big picture of things, there's nothing wrong with analog analog gauges. 
problem is everybody's moving on to like, you know, fully configurable TFT screens and things like that. Probably when they redesign this vehicle, it'll have that. Here's those uh, same seats, but uh, in a different color. I, I don't know what they call it. I'm going to call it tan. Here's your um, uh, sills, your door sills with uh, illuminated door sills. Those are quite nice. And we've got one more photo here that doesn't really show us much. But these photos were definitely better than the exterior. Okay, so we did an overview. We looked at the colors. We looked. We know the, all the trim levels. Uh, we went through the gallery, all that stuff. All we really need to do before we go to the configurator now is just go through these features. There's performance features, as you can clearly see right here. But there's also design features. There's technology features. And there's connectivity features. They also have this thing called owner benefits. But those aren't really features. And so we're probably not going to spend any time over there. So let's look at these four features and then we'll do the build. So obviously this is a performance uh, luxury sports sedan and it's certainly that. You've got your base models, your, your first, there's four trims, your first three trims all come with a V6 engine that makes 300, and, 300 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. That's legit. That's a nice little daily driver right there. And if that's not enough, then you can bump up to the top tier uh, Q50 Red Sport 400. You get 400 horsepower, 350 pound-feet of torque. Either way, those engines are made it to a seven-speed uh, transmission, automatic transmission. And all-wheel drive is offered throughout the lineup. So we're definitely going to have to get our Red Sport 400 in all-wheel drive. Speaking of the available all-wheel drive, here they're talking about the intelligent all-wheel drive that's available. They say that wheel spin, throttle, and speed are monitored, and up to 50% of the available power can be sent to the front wheels for better traction. If, the, if that none of that's needed, then 100% of the power goes to the rear wheels for a more classic sports car feel. Here, Infinity is trying to show us their dynamic digital suspension let's learn about it so this is an available feature it's not standard so the q50 can give you a balance between comfort and performance and you can use the touchscreen display or drive mode selector to choose your suspension firmness that you want so that's what they're going to call their dynamic digital suspension then of course there are drive modes what kind of drive modes do we have here so you've got some drive modes. They don't actually tell us the actual drive modes, but you probably have like some comfort, eco, sport, that kind of thing. You might even have a mode that lets you set up your own parameters. Okay, so that was performance features. So let's get here into design features. Uh, and they're very artsy with this, with this car, with the gallery, with the images, aren't they? They're very artsy with these images. Let's learn about design. The irony is they use the word evolved, but the Q50 hasn't had a redesign or anything since 2014. It's been seven years, and in the car world, that's an eternity. Okay, so here they're going to actually get into some design features like the LED, headlight, uh, the LED headlights. Uh, they have two multi-mode jeweled headlamps accented by LED daytime running lights. Here they're talking about the crescent-shaped window. I guess this is the crescent-shaped window here in the back. Um, and so they say that it provides greater visibility for rear passengers. Uh, here over on the far right, they're just talking about the sculpted body. It's chiseled. It's athletic. It's got muscular flair and broad shoulders and a uh, low-wide stance. I'll give them all of that. As far as the crescent window, whatever. It's just a design cue as far as I'm concerned. The front end far as the LED headlights are concerned, yeah, the front end looks really, really good. The body is sculpted. It's very performance-oriented. It has a performance look to it. And then, yeah, you got a crescent-shaped window. See what I mean about these artsy photos? This guy's got his hard shoes on and everything. I mean, really, is this where you're going to actually stop to read the paper, to check the stocks or something like that? Okay, here they're not saying anything except for how great they are, how beautiful the car is, and I've already given them that credit, so we're not going to keep going. Uh, here they're talking about the luxury design. Let's see if they actually give us some actual features. So the front fascia, it's got a sophisticated style. I don't think so. Not in this trim. I think uh, the Red Sport 400 is the best version of this, of this vehicle. Uh, all the other versions just aren't quite, I don't know, hard enough for me. 
You got the aluminum alloy wheels, and they're just okay. Uh, they're nothing fancy. They're nothing to write home about. That's funny. They use the word sport-like design <laughs> that knows no bounds, mind you. Not since 2014. Now, see here, they're showing you the Red Sport 400, and it looks a lot more aggressive. The Sport Fascia is a lot better. Uh, the unique 19-inch wheels, again, they're not really that great, but they're better than the other ones. And so, you know, if you're really looking at this car, if you're really looking at this car, as far as I'm concerned, you got to get it in the Q50 Red Sport 400 with all-wheel drive or don't get it at all. All right, let's check out the technology features for our uh, 2021 Infiniti Q50. Oh, so what we were just looking at there was predictive forward collision warning. This is a standard system that can warn you of risks you may not even see coming. Here they throw up another glamour shot, uh, and then they don't really say anything here. They just talk about how... You know, this vehicle has safety technologies and stuff like that. They, so far, they haven't really given us a lot of real solid information. Why? Because they haven't done anything with the car since 2014. Here they're showing us the standard Ford emergency braking. Oh, this must be that drive-by-wire technology I was talking about as an available feature. Uh, that is available package you could get on the Red Sport 400. Here's that direct adaptive steering. They say digitally transmits steering inputs directly to the wheels. Uh, so yeah, that sounds like drive-by-wire technology to me. I will give Infinity this. They have some very beautiful photos on their sales page. And see, this proves right here and there that they don't really have much to talk about. Here they are talking about that all-wheel drive system. Again, they just told us this. Almost verbatim, they just told us this. See, here it is. I don't know if you're paying attention to where the, the little curse, the little slider is as far down the page we are, but we're way up the page again, and they just told us all this stuff. So anyway, here's some more safety technology. This technology is not, these aren't standard features. Lane departure prevention is not a standard feature, nor is active lane control, but it is available. Another available technology feature is the uh, around view monitor with moving object detection. And it gives you, uh, it's got a 360 degree view of your Q350 to help you better do parking and not hit things. Other manufacturers, I think, call it rear cross traffic alert. Uh, but apparently Infinity calls it backup collision intervention. So this is an available feature that can help detect approaching vehicles and large stationary objects behind you when you shift into reverse. Sounds like uh, rear cross traffic alert to me. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. So here we're looking at something called Infinity Safety Shield. It's a comprehensive approach to safety, says Infinity. Uh, and it offers layered technologies to help provide safety and convenience by monitoring conditions to help you avoid a collision. So I see they've got some arrows here. We can, I can see some dots down here. So they got some slides. Let's go through these slides. So this is an available feature here. It's called Intelligent Cruise Control with Full Speed Range. Then we've got the Available Distance Control Assist. We've got, and I think they already showed us this, right? Yeah, a round view monitor with moving object detection. This is also, seems like all these are available features. Uh, backup collision intervention. Uh, predictive forward collision warning. And they don't say whether or not this is available or standard, actually. Then we have the available blind spot uh, intervention and blind spot warning. Uh, we've got the available lane departure warning and lane departure prevention. Uh, forward emergency braking. This might be standard because I don't see the word available in there. That lets you know that it's not standard. And then they say the restraints and body structure. So really, they're just talking about the airbags, the front seat belts, the pretensioners, uh, the seat belt reminders, the zone body construction, the rear crumple zones, and how all this minimizes injuries when a collision occurs. Okay, moving on, let's talk about the connectivity features for our 2021 Infiniti Q50. And I think after that, we might have gone through all the actual features. And really, in this particular image, what they're really talking about, what they're telling us about, is the Apple CarPlay 
and all of that and the iPhone and the access to your music and all of that. Then they've got some other features here. They've got a what they call Infinity in Touch with Wi-Fi hotspot. Its key features is it's got a built-in Wi-Fi hotspot and you can pair up to seven devices. And then here they're talking about the standard automatic collision notification feature. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a live response part thing, SOS. You know, if, if there's an accident, you can actually get in contact with a real response specialist. And this is available 24-7. Uh, here they're talking about Sirius XM. When you buy this vehicle new, uh, I think they give you, what, like a trial subscription of this stuff. They also talk about Sirius XM traffic. And they give you a complimentary access to travel link, whatever that is. You can access weather, fuel prices, sports scores, all that there. So this is interesting here. Uh, other vehicles, of course, offer this. They call this the driver seat to driver memory uh, system. And this system can adjust to your personal seating, uh, steering wheel, and outside mirror positions automatically the moment you engage that push button ignition. And then a second set of presets can be retained by the second intelligent key. So that's pretty cool. They also go on to tell us that there's USB type A and type C ports, a lightning cable that are conveniently located in the center console uh, to charge your devices. Okay, we've gone through all the features. Let's build our RQ50. They say there's eight versions. There's really not. There's four versions. They're also including the all-wheel drive of each variant. So what we're looking for is we're looking for, yeah, there it is, the Q50 Red Sport 400 all-wheel drive. Starts at 57750 To add all-wheel drive to any of these will cost you an additional $2,000. So that's not bad. That's about the going rate, usually 2000 2500 somewhere around there. All right, so we're, let's build in price our top tier, all-wheel drive, Red Sport 400. Because like I said, as far as I'm concerned, if you're, gonna, if you're interested in this vehicle, it's the only way to go. I mean, honestly, it's the only way to go. Maybe the sensory all-wheel drive, maybe, but I think the 400. Okay, here we are on the configurator. I've already chosen a color. We've already seen all the colors. We went through them all. I almost was going to jump on the dynamic sunstone red, but thought better of that. The midnight black, it's okay. I, I like something that was more of a flat black. It doesn't seem dark enough to me, but let's go with the, uh, the midnight black. Moving on, we need to select, what do we have here? It says body protection. Oh, these are accessories, right? Splash guards and a clear bumper protector, you know, when you pull stuff out of the trunk. I do want the splash guards, though. Let's go ahead and get those splash guards. Did they even add them? I don't see them, but they added them to the price. Okay, we're done with that. Let's move on. Let's move. Oh, I think we might have skipped. Did we skip interior? Yeah, show available interiors. We skipped interiors. Let's get back to that. So we've got this really interesting little slider here. So yeah, oh, that's right. The standard seat is that white semi-aniline leather. I would like to have the graphite leather. So let's go ahead and select that. Okay, so we've got the black leather and look at that. We can actually look around the interior. That's pretty cool, right? I like the black leather. It looks really, really nice. I think that looks fantastic actually. Good looking car, really beautiful with the black leather and the red stitching and the matte carbon fiber you got your dual screens yeah good looking okay let's move on now that we got all that handled let's go to styling again these are all just accessories that they're showing us i know this uh do i want that carbon fiber deck lid spoiler i want the spoiler i want those carbon fiber mirror oh they have a package for that let's see what the package entails so the package is fifteen hundred dollars and twenty fifteen one thousand five hundred twenty dollars it gives you the carbon fiber rear deck lid spoiler, carbon fiber outside mirror covers, real carbon fiber, precision fit, da 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 Okay, let's go ahead and get that. Okay, that's selected. We're done there. Uh, let's move on to, what is this, grills? Do we want the black sport grill? Uh, I thought we had the sport. So if we don't have the sport grill, yeah, let's get the sport grill. We've got the sport grill. That's selected. Uh, now we've got some additional lighting features. Oh, they have like a, a puddle light kind of deal. It says uh, illuminate your entrance. 
Okay, I can't write. Is this the lighting that they're trying to show us? I can't even really tell. And so since I can't even see it for 465, we're just not going to bother with it for 465. So we're done with the lighting thing. Um, let's go to miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is just silly things. Uh, center caps, license plate frames, more um, accessories. They got what they call, what is this, a performance package here? And what does this do? Oh, performance package, exhaust, and cool air, oh, cool, cool air intake. That's cool. I'm sold on that. Absolutely. $1,200? I know it's just, it's no big deal, but I like it. That's cool. It's from the factory. I think it's worth getting. So it's gotten. Uh, there that is. And so now, actually, oh, now it says next is the interior. I thought we already checked that and did that, but let's move on. Oh, they mean interior accessories. <laughs> they mean interior accessories. Well, we already know about our leather and all that, but now they're talking about the accessories here. Floor mats, all-season floor mats, things like that. Um, I do think it's worth getting all-season floor mats, right, to run in the wintertime. Get those. You should probably have your sport floor mats for the summer, but you know what? We're not going to keep going through all of those. You get it. Cargo stuff. We can at least take a peek, right? These are just organizers, so everything's not sliding around. They got packages for that stuff. Um, you got some safety packages, like what? Seatbelt extender, first aid kits, emergency road kit, thing like that. And then you got additional interior lighting. I do like the illuminated kick plates. So we got the kick plates. Let's move on, see what else there is. They say up next is, oh, here it is. We got packages and then the nerve to tell us accessories after that, even though they've been showing us accessories. Okay, let's move on to the packages. And the only package is that package I told you about. It was that proactive package. It gives you the direct adaptive steering. That's that steer by wire kind of deal. The radiant front grille emblem, so illuminated emblem. That's kind of cool. Uh, you get the blind spot intervention and all that. So that's $2,000. Uh, you know what? I don't really feel that package, so we're not going to get it. Okay, now they're showing us, they have the nerve to show us accessories, even though they've been showing us accessories all along. We're totally skipping over that. Let's go to the summary. Okay, so here we are at the summary. And what do we have for price? $63,451. What do we start at? $57,750. So we added a few bones. We added a few bones onto the build, but... 60, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot of money. It's a $65,000 car. And for $65,000, unfortunately, the competition, as far as their innovation is, they're ahead. That doesn't make them necessarily a better car because they have more tech. But uh, yeah, this one hasn't been redesigned in seven years. And in the automotive kingdom and the world, that's a long time. I still think it's a pretty cool car though. And so on that note, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2021 Infiniti Q50 Red Sport 400 all-wheel drive helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very next video.